Why'd you break up with her? Seven reasons, actually. Number one, she doesn't vote. Uh, shh. Number two, she cheered for Bulgaria in the last Olympics. Bulgarians don't even cheer for Bulgaria. Okay, so it was one Bulgarian, and he was missing an arm. The rest of the time she cheered for America? Yes. Okay, that one's a stretch, too. Look, why don't you just forget your seven reasons and admit that you only need one to talk yourself out of any girl? What's that? That she's not Emily. False. You've been in love with Emily since the third grade. No one's ever going to measure up. <sighs> That's probably true. Imagine every day a 12-year-old supermodel literally turned your hallway into a runway. A runway of love. Are you sure you're not exaggerating a bit? I don't even need to. She was perfect in every way. I doubt that. Trust me. While other kids were building basic housing, she was building Eiffel Towers. So she was French? Nope, but she spoke French fluently. <sighs> she was probably the most thoughtful person that ever existed. One time, she had all the kids in school sign a card for Miss Lackman when she broke her arm. She even brought her flowers. Or maybe that was a birthday. I can't remember. This year's Humanitarian Award for her work with homeless homing pigeons and reprogramming the left-handed, Emily Atkins. I was in awe of her. Never dreaming that on June 4th, 2004, at 3.26 p.m., she would take my heart, throw it in a backpack, toss it in a van, and drive away with it. You poor thing. I was devastated. It was the worst day of my life. Really? Yep. And I haven't seen her since. It was the kind of love you only get one chance at in life. And I let it slip through my fingers. Quite a love story, considering you never even spoke to her. Yes, I did. Once. What'd you say? Uh, that's the moment that I'd like to keep between me and Emily. Look! I licked a leprechaun. Okay, I think I got it. Hold on, I found the lantern. Dang it, I said hold on! Okay. I think we should go get Tully before I burn this whole place down. He's not going to be in any hurry if you don't pay your half of the rent. I will, all right? I, I've just got a little behind here. Who knew car repairs would be so expensive? Everyone. Are you kidding me? You actually wrote down the reasons why? I'm a visual thinker. <laughs> Seven reasons to dump someone just looks bad on paper. <laughs> Dang it! I told you not to leave stuff in the middle of the floor. No, 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 no. Just shut up, all right? I'm lecturing you right now. Right? You're never going to find a girl as perfect as Emily. Once you've been in the presence of perfection, it's hard to settle for anything less. Yeah, but you've become such a nitpicky freak. It's a gift. <laughs> Tell that to your sister. Come on, Lexi. The guy's a loser. He's not. Then tell me this. He slept through Sleepless in Seattle, the greatest romantic comedy of all time. But what does he have to say about the Transformers movies? there should be a best picture consideration. Uh-huh. For which one? All of them. Case closed. Oh, why would you do that? That's terrible. Okay, there are studies that show that cracking your knuckles isn't bad for you. Lexi, dump him. He's cute. You won't keep the conversations from drifting to the underrated talents of Megan Fox. Have I ever steered you wrong before? Pet Coyote incident of 2003 comes to mind. Fond memories. Yeah, rabies shots are memorable. Trouble. Quick, grab the cord from the hall. Oh, that sucks there. Shit, it's 
probably tell me. I Are you mad? There we go. I'm taking the power strip. And the smoothie. When can I expect the rest? The smoothie? Of the rent. Soon. There are a couple of unforeseen expenses. And I'm asking for a raise tomorrow at Martin's Computers. Do you think you're gonna get it? I deserve it. Who's your boss? Skinny guy with the toupee? You want me to go down there and... What? Beat him up? No. But I could threaten to rewire your ceiling fan. Make a run backwards. You know there's a switch for that, right? Yeah. Good point. That'll save me some time. Anyway, I need the rent. My wife wants to get her face waxed. What does that even mean? I don't know. Some new spa place are doing a three-for-one sale. She's also getting her ears exfoliated and her elbows bleached. It's gonna cost me 500 bucks. But it'll be worth it if I don't recognize her afterwards. Whatever. We have power. Here you go. Oh, thank you. How much do I owe you? No charge. Oh, could they not fix it? I knew what the problem was, so I didn't bother getting a technician involved. <laughs> Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thank you. Same to you. Don't think of it as me firing you. Think of it as store policy firing you. You didn't follow the rules. You gave a few people their computers back without charge. It adds up. Kathy will be sending you your final paycheck. She's right down the hall. We went out one time. She's really nice. work here. Please, you don't know the first thing about arranging. Some people would love this design. Really? Who? Who would love that? Anarchists. People who like disorder and mayhem. Those guys always put weird things in their apartments. You know, another option... No. You cannot live with me, but you can stop hanging around here and go get a job. Hey, Mrs. Daly. Hi, Lexi. You here to pick up the flowers to the hospital? Yes, I am. Thank cool. you. Be right back. Oh, I saw your mother last week. She's my favorite nurse. Oh, well, you're her favorite volunteer. She said that you had a breakup. Are you okay? I'm fine. Okay. You'll bounce back. I'll get your order. You're Ethan, aren't you? Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. Your mother brags about you. In what way? She said you're the Helen Keller of relationships. She thinks I'm blind and deaf when it comes to women? No, you're the miracle worker. Oh, you mean her teacher, Annie Sullivan. How's that? You help the love-struck Helen Kellers by shining light on flaws that they're too blind to see. I don't understand. You talked Lexi into ending it with her boyfriend. Well... Ultimately, it was her decision to do that, but... But did you convince her to break up with him? Kinda. I mean... There you have it. Your parents hated that boy. In fact, they told me that you've saved Lexi from a few disasters. She listens to me. Why? She trusts me, and I'm just good at spotting incompatibilities. Why the 20 questions? Could you do that for me? Excuse me? Oh! Here you go. Thank you. Um, how much is this? Ten dollars. Sold. Um, we have a blind patient and she, it's her birthday, so could you put a ribbon on it? Thanks. Can you get rid of my daughter's boyfriend? Uh, Please. I'll try 
hide everything? I've never even met your daughter. Yes, you have. In elementary school, Veronica. No, I'm sorry. I don't remember, and I seriously I doubt... I don't want grandchildren with no ambition and big ears. Have you talked to her? I'm her mother. She doesn't listen to me. But she might listen to a stranger. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you. We should use code names. I don't think that's necessary. Oh, okay. Alright, this is Veronica. It's like freaking Tinder, they're all group photos. I have no idea which one she is. That's Veronica. She's pretty. Thank you. And that's that. Big ears. Thank you. This is information on her. She has a Maltese named Beauty. Oh, we could get you one too. Whoa, whoa, chill, oh. boy. I, I'm so sorry. He's easily excited. Oh, he is. So cute. What's his name? Uh, I just call him Beast. Ethan Cooper. Ah. Veronica Taylor. Ah, yeah. Ah. <laughs> you remember me? Ah. Yeah. It's been forever. Yeah, it has. <laughs> it's a cute dog. Oh, thanks. I made a list of things I don't like about him. Hmm. That's what I do. I thought maybe you could use these. Lack of motivation. Doesn't save money. Not that he has that much money to begin with. He works at a fast food place. Fast food alone has destroyed many relationships with the weight gain. I'm not that patient. Um, I don't know if this list is going to work. These aren't things people my age care about. They think in the present. Okay, so what then? What I'm looking for are quirks, habits, annoying things about him. So, your boyfriend is Zach Winston? Yeah. Do you know him? Yeah, I, uh, I do. Great guy. I mean, except for the toothpick thing. What? He always has a toothpick in his mouth. It's like a redneck way of being pretentious. It's weird. Plus the mouth noises he makes? Ugh. And you gotta admit, he talks like a junior high girl. Did you see that tweet or not? Ew. Oh my gosh, they're so annoying. Basic as they get. Is that Chelsea? What the what? Hey, we about to turn up! I hate Josh Hutcherson so much, I can't even. JK, I'm jelly. But seriously. And you know, should he really be dancing in public? Oh, I, uh, I gotta go. Well, do you wanna hang out this weekend? Huh? Uh, what? I like hanging out with you. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure about hanging out with someone else's girlfriend. I don't want to cause any trouble there. Oh. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See ya. Wait. Do you want your dog? Thanks. Stupid dog. You make me look bad. Bye. I don't think it's working out. What's up? I'm Zach. What am I supposed to do with this dog? Take him back to the shelter? Is that what I am now? I use dogs and then toss them back? Oh, hey. I heard Barky. You're not allowed to have a dog. We named him after you. Tully? I... Beast. <laughs> okay. But I get to walk him on Tuesdays. Tuesday is Velma's Catherine Heigl movie night. Deal. Hey, do you think this girl was into you? Definitely. Was she cute? Sure, but kind of weird, too. There's this new girl. You know, as someone who hasn't been in a relationship for a while, I think you have to move past the weird thing. Was she breathing? Look who's talking. You haven't had a girlfriend since the fourth grade. I've had a lot of girlfriends. Okay, too. Oh, wait. 
Yeah, true. And this is why I'm taking relationship advice from you? Do dogs eat like every day? Yes, they do. Don't you? Don't you? ka -ching! <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh, dag nabbit. The flying monkey has landed. Minus the munchkin-eared albatross. What is happening? Great doing business with you. Thought I could help. Can I recommend you to some people? What do you mean? You'd be surprised how many parents dislike their daughter's boyfriends. Hello? Sure, I can do that for you. I just, uh, need a few details. Um, what's your daughter's name? Okay. What's the issue you have with her boyfriend? <laughs> Butcher's daughter dating vegetarian. Never gonna work. Okay, I'll need more. Is he possessive, lazy, stupid? Any, you know, strange habits? Tell you what, think about it, write some stuff down, and we'll meet for coffee on Thursday. Okay? Sounds good. Thanks. Where is she? Pump three. Okay, we stay here until she clears out. Wait, I thought you were on your way to meet a client. I guess I'm gonna be late. I know, man. I think you should just give in. She wants you. That's half the battle. Wait, hold up. That is the battle. Wrong battlefield. Really, though, you should get rid of Lexi. She's cramping your stuff. Absolutely not. She is the only way I'm keeping these girls at bay. Besides, they open up to me if they know I'm not trying to move in. I don't think Veronica really cares about your girlfriend. She already knows Lexi is my sister, so that doesn't work. Can you just start sending these girls my way? You don't want them. Because... Same reasons I don't want. Incompatible personalities, blubbering about their breakup, weird habits you'd have to live with for the rest of your life. Trust me. Still. Oh, she's coming. Oh, we're just uh, picking up some. Uh, and his mom asked us to. You know, it's so funny. I was just on my way to your house to invite you to my party. Oh wow, uh, Friday? Mm. Any other day would have been fine, but uh, yeah, Friday. You, yeah, you had that. Uh, right, that, uh, that, that thing. Uh, that minor is, surgery. Uh, the party's on Thursday. The flyer says Friday. The party's on Thursday. It's at Mill Creek Park at sunset. Oh, that's where Beauty and the Beast first met. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can't believe that crossed my mind. <laughs> okay, well, since you're free on Thursday, I guess I'll see you then. Bye. Bye, Sam. Dude, you know you're the only one invited to that party. I know. His name's Brian. And you don't like him? I like him fine. It's just that after her dad died, she's all I have left. I don't want her wasting her life with this boy. What's wrong with him? Nothing. I just want her to be with Thomas. Thomas is... My future son-in-law. <laughs> He's a lawyer, about to become partner. Brian is just an accountant, and we'll be doing Thomas's taxes one day. <laughs> okay. So what else do you know about Brian? I know he's not Thomas. It's just that it would help if you could give me some more information. You know, any ex-girlfriends, multiple Facebook accounts, bad credit history. Mm, I know nothing. But isn't that your job to uncover the secrets? I suppose. I can uh, certainly give it a shot with what we have. Good. I'll pay you regular rates if you could break them up and double if you could get her interested in Thomas. Uh, that's not really what I do. Quadruple. But I've been looking into branching out. Good. Would you like to meet her? I would. 
She works at the art gallery and scheduled for tomorrow, but she also sings nights at the Green Lady Lounge. Show starts at nine. Emily? Who's that girl singing? Emily Atkins. Quite the voice, huh? Yeah. Quite the everything. Um, hello. Hi. I just wanted to say how much I enjoyed your performance. Oh, thank you. Yeah, uh, it was, it was good. You were a, a really cool jazz, um, <coughs> cat up there. <coughs> uh, don't I know you? Uh, no. Um, from Jefferson Elementary. What's your name? Uh, Ethan Cooper? Oh, yeah, I do remember here. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, uh, I realized it was you the second I walked in here. You always did have a great voice. When did you hear me sing? Well, you had a solo in the, in the third grade musical. You know, Mr. Dragon Lily's Farm. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, um, I was a turnip. I sang, like, online. Right. It was just memorable to me because it inspired me to go organic and um, put turnips in stews and various other recipes. Turnips? I know. I had to go on for another minute and a half about my infatuation with turnips just to cover. To cover your infatuation with her? She's still perfect. Hey, would you get your feet off the table? That's disgusting. Velma went through a weird vegetable phase, too. You guys know what chard is? No. It's like the fat-free yogurt of vegetables, which is bad because vegetables are like the soy milk of food. Ethan, you need a new oven igniter. I'll order it tomorrow. Great. Hey, you really need to go back to the jazz club and talk to her. No, I need a new strategy. <laughs> Reminds me of some of Brancusi's work. Ethan? Oh, hey, Emily. <laughs> Good to see you again. I didn't know you liked art. Uh, yeah, yeah, I work here. Oh, sweet. Nice to meet a fellow art person. Yeah. Uh, so, how do you mean that this reminds you of Brancusi? I kind of feel like Brancusi had a much simpler form than this. No, I'm talking about his earlier stuff, when he was a little wilder, you know, college years. I'm not really familiar. Oh, I'm kind of a Brancouche expert, so Brancouche is my boy. Yeah, oh, I love his work. What's your favorite piece? A little-known gem. It's a sculpture called Guy with Blender. And instead of blending food, he's blending, you know, Dreams, and hopes, and two-third 
cup of reality. So, you know, it's pretty symbolic and stuff. You'd kind of have to be a big art lover to appreciate it. Uh, so, how have you been? Uh, great. And you? Fantastic, yeah. Um, are you married or anything? Or? No. No? No, you? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no way. Uh, but I got me a girlfriend. Yep, I got me one of those. Well done. Yeah. I remember you moving away during middle school. Are you back in town now, or? Yeah, yeah, I moved back about a year ago. Oh, okay, cool. I missed you. I mean, we, as a community. Yeah, I, I really miss being here. So, what are you doing now? Just here making Brancouche observations. I mean, for a living. Oh, right. Uh, I'm a freelance consultant. Oh, cool. What do you consult on? I take dysfunctional systems and I disassemble them for diagnosis. Sounds complicated. Oh, it is. Trust me. Well, do you fix them too? No. No, not usually. That's kind of the next guy's job. Oh. How am I going to do this? Break her up from her boyfriend? Convince her of anything. I'm thinking of all rational thought when I'm around here. How am I going to find something persuasive to say or even halfway intelligible? Maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe her boyfriend is really ugly and weak. That's him? Yep. Oh. Good luck. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. What am I supposed to do? I mean, you're the expert. There's got to be a, a chip in that high gloss, heavy duty, premium quality paint. Oh. Ooh. Hey, you waiting for this? Oh, yeah, I mean, go ahead. It's all good. No, no, it's cool. We can, we can just work in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Um, I'm Ethan. Oh, Brian. Awesome. Great to meet such a nice guy. So, are you here to impress the ladies or to look at the ladies? <laughs> no. I got a girlfriend. Yeah, but when's I stopped anyone before? Am I right? <laughs> no. I'm fully committed, man. So by fully committed, you mean what? 60, 70 percent? 100! So then like 80 maybe? So yeah, I've probably got another five years or so to pay off my car. What do you drive? Got some massive loan you can't afford? No, actually, the car's fully paid for. Well, I've been saving up since I was 10, you know, mowing lawns. It's great. It really is great. You watch movies much? You seem like the kind of guy who would waste a whole Saturday watching mindless television. No. Actually, I don't even own a TV. I spend most of my Saturdays just helping out the soup kitchen. It's great. This is the row machine, right? He's like the offspring of Taylor Swift and, I don't know, Channing Tatum. What? He's perfect, okay? They're the perfect couple. How am I supposed to break these two up? Stop squirming. I can't breathe. We are not leaving here until you have found yourself a nice girl. Wayne, did you ask around? To see if there are any girls who would like to dance with Mitchell. That sounds like Mitchell's job, honey. Do you really want to leave Mitchell's future into the hands of Mitchell? 
course not. Don't you want him out of the house? More than anything. I can hear you. And I would like to pick my own clothes. Fine. Who do you pick? None of them. Why? They're all snooty. They are refined. Like sugar. But you won't let me have sugar. Well, tonight you are off your diet. Figuratively. Now, get out there. Pick anyone you want. You're all better than what you find at college. Do you want to dance? Oh, no, thank you. Yeah, so if, uh, you know, if we get married, uh, I would prefer to have a room for my iguana. He likes to roam. I hope our kids get my eyebrows. Doggy pocket. What? So saving the carrots for later. No, I have an iguana. Do you have an iguana? What kind? It's a green iguana. I have one too. Oh! oh. So, do you like these parties? The torture, the food, the music. Is this sugar-free lemonade? Yeah. The largest size they have in the gift shop here is a size four. They discourage sugar. <laughs> Not completely. You know there's a a fine for wearing the wrong color white on a test courts? A thousand dollars per shade. <laughs> you see that guy over there? Yeah. He's been in therapy since he broke his nine iron. <laughs> Is that guy a vampire? I mean, really, look at him. He looks like a vampire. I mean, or that or there's too much chlorine in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> And that's when I caught my first Pikachu. <laughs> You're cute. I love this song. Should we dance? We have to go. You were grounded. Why? Your eyes are sugar dilated. Mr. Cooper? Yeah. Right this way. He's already saying that he's in love with her. And what's your main problem with the girl? She's a food server. He's selling himself short. Apparently we don't want him out of the house that badly. <laughs> well, you should know, um, I don't have any experience with breaking up boys from their girlfriends. It's, it's always been the other way around. The job should be easy. The girl is awful. She wears an apron. I like polyester. I have a meeting. That's fine. I think we can handle this without your scoffing. It was nice meeting you. Oh, me too. Thanks. He's a record producer? Yes. With tremendous connections. 
There is no reason Mitchell should be settling. Okay, yeah, I get it. Mess this up, and I'll make sure you never get another job for the women at the country club. Or I can recommend you, and you'll be booked for months. <laughs> so, do you write your own songs? Yeah. I mean, well, some of them. Impressive. Have you done anything with them? Just sing them at the Green Lady to about 30 people a night. <laughs> Waiting for that big break, huh? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe one day. I, uh, met your boyfriend. Brian? Yep. How? Uh, <laughs> we work out together. He told me he goes to the club to see you sing. Yeah, he does. Great guy. Sure is. The best. I think so. You know his teeth are capped? Makes me wonder what really lies under there. What? Nothing, I'm just, uh... Oh, did somebody leave their partially digested set of fireplace pokers here? <laughs> what? You don't like it? <laughs> you do? Yeah. You know, the title is perfect. It's called Love. Love. Yeah, you don't think this looks like love? Well, I mean, if you're in a relationship with a garbage man. <laughs> well, I think it looks exactly like love. You know, up close it's all so weird and defective and messy. But when you take a step back, as a whole, it's beautiful. I'm singing Thursday night. Would you like to come? Ethan? Yes. I'd love to. Great. You can bring your girlfriend. My girlfriend? Right. Because I have one of those. Mitchell, this is Ethan. I've hired him as your confidence coach. Wait, what? They're very common these days. Nice to meet you, Mitchell. I don't need this. My confidence is fine. Look, I trust myself today. I will arrange for a wardrobe consult at ASAP. Why are you here? Your mom thinks that I can help you. You can't. I don't need you. Not now. Trisha, she makes me feel good about myself. She's all I need. Yes, but is Trisha a licensed confidenceologist? I don't care if she's a licensed witch doctor. I love her. That brings up a good point. How... Uh, uh, my iguana doesn't like you touching his sweater vest. My bad. How well do you really know Trisha? Well, I met her in person once. And, and we Skype and text a lot. In fact, we did a double date just the other day with the uh, our iguanas. But again, Skype. So, you haven't been on a date alone? No. Then, how do you know what horrific things have yet to be uncovered? There are none with Trisha. But I suppose I should go out with her. Mm-hmm. But... Yeah, definitely. To be honest, it actually makes, it makes me kind of nervous. So, it sounds like you need some confidence, huh? Tell you what. I'll go with you. Wouldn't that be kind of weird with the three of us? I have a girlfriend. We'll double. Yes! Yes! <laughs> okay, so how about five o'clock on Tuesday? Yes! So much yes! <laughs> Great. I'll be here at 4.45 to make sure that you're not wearing this. Are we looking at the same shirt? Lexi, we got a job. I need a fake girlfriend tomorrow night. Great. It might be a little tough, though. It's Mitchell and Trisha. They're socially abnormal. They obviously can't see traditional flaws. So you want to try the bleak future approach? Yeah, I think that's the way to go. Cool. How much is a job? Oh, Lacey, this is the golden ticket. Really? Do tell. My client is loaded, and she has a lot of loaded friends. We're going to be swimming in Megadot by the end of the year. Ooh, I've never made 15% of Megadot before. That's because I pay you 10%. Yeah, but that was before you were swimming in Megadot. I do 90% of the work, you get 10. 
accidentally double booked us on weddings this weekend. Do you think you can break one of the couples up real quick? Are you going to pay me? Do I get an employee discount? Yeah. 10%. And for you? Can I get the chicken fingers and the french fries and a glass of milk? I'm sorry, sir, that item isn't on the regular menu? I know. I want it off the, the kids' menu. You're kidding me. That's exactly what I was going to order. <laughs> Two, please. Two. Okay. You guys are so compatible. You think? Oh, yeah. Perfect for each other. But have you discovered the jigsaw puzzle yet? The what? You guys are two pieces of a jigsaw puzzle, and no two pieces of a puzzle are exactly alike. But two pieces that are next to each other align perfectly. It's like me and Ethan. <laughs> we complement each other so well, my strengths are his weaknesses. And vice versa. Which is perfect for when we get married, because we already know our roles, like I'm the one who's going to be decorating the walls. Because I have no clue. And he's the one who's going to be filling out all the estate tax <laughs> governance forms. Because she has no clue. <laughs> <laughs> So if you guys got married, which one of you would file the estate tax for governance forms? I don't know what those are. What? Neither do I. That's okay. Don't worry about it. You just need to learn a little Latin. <laughs> just a tad. So which one of you is good with cooking? Well, I, I can make ice. I have Pizza Hut on speed dial. Me too. What? Good. And which one of you will know which fertilizer to use on the lawn to make it exactly the right concentration of nitrates so that your kids don't poison themselves when they play in the front yard and die? Uh, I don't know anything. I have no idea. Uh, well, <laughs> I guess... Uh, I, I guess they could just stay indoors. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. This is going to be the easiest split up in history. Should we give them more time to worry about the future of America if they end up together? No. I think they've had enough time to freak out. <laughs> so wild. What's going on? We just found out the most incredible thing. <laughs> what? We both love stargazing. Wow. Really? It's like we're made for each other. Especially considering the zero percent of people who hate looking at stars. Was she really that good, or was she Ethan's Emily version of good? Everybody loved her, and she writes her own music. Does she have a record deal? Uh, no, but that's her dream. Hey, isn't Mitchell's dad a record producer? Yeah. So why don't you introduce him? Uh, doesn't seem appropriate. What? You afraid he might not like her? <laughs> Impossible. You're afraid he will, and then she'll get successful and leave. No. Are you going to go after her when you break her up? That's probably not going to happen. They're way too good for each other. Lexi, we got another job. What is it? A sailboat day with Brian and Emily. You in? I want to raise. How much? 30%. 
What? That's crazy. I need more cash. I want to start my own business. By bankrupting mine? That's what family's for. Come on, Ethan. Pay the woman what she's worth. Why do you even care? I've always been a champion for the underemployed. You once tipped a pizza delivery guy in sunflower seeds. They're very tasty. Lexi, you're just gonna have to be patient. The money's coming, okay? What, because of the golden ticket country club lady? Last time I checked, her two lovebirds were holding hands and watching stars. It's not looking promising, Ethan. I'll get them. I always have. Yeah, well, just in case, I want 30%. You don't think I could train any girl off the streets to do what you do? 30%. I don't need you as badly as you think. I really need her. Yeah. Are you going to find a girlfriend in seven hours? Ethan. So, how did you guys meet? Do you want to tell it? Or? Uh, sure, yeah. Uh, we were in the park, and I was walking... No, my... no, she's talking about the first time that we met. <sighs> okay, uh, well, you know, why don't you just tell it? Okay, so, we were both seven, and I lived in another town, but our schools went on field trips with each other, and we were at the Children's Museum in the planetarium. And we all had these reclining seats so we could lay back and look at the stars. But my seat didn't work. And so Ethan, who was two rows back, he came up to me. And he had this cute little red baseball tee on. And I was wearing... What was I wearing? Um, that, um... Uh, it was a cute black dress. Little yes, little a cute black dress. Wait, or was it yellow? It was yellow. Right, kind of a yellowish black... No. You don't remember this, do you? Sorry. No. I, uh... Anyway, <laughs> Ethan gave me his seat, and he said it was because the stars made him nauseous, but I knew he was just being nice. I mean, what seven-year-old does that? <laughs> Whoa. How sweet, guys. Yes. And I should have known there was something special about him then, but, you know, I kind of forgot about him, and then we didn't talk, and... <laughs> And we went back up at the park. With our dogs. <laughs> you know, and sometimes you're lucky enough to get a second chance with the right one. Mm. Oh, shooting star! Usually shooting stars are gone in half a second. I bet it's just a really fast plane. Really fast planes are so romantic. Uh, what you doing there? Just one more angle. Lean back this way. Oh, okay. Got it. Mm. So good. You guys. <laughs> so how did you guys meet? Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. We were at the gym, and she didn't have a spotter, so I just <laughs> came over, and thank goodness she was being irresponsible. You know, don't you love how that stuff just happens? I was looking for a seatmate. I found a soulmate. Oh. Wow. Um, and now I love him more than my own life. Oh, don't say that. No, I do. Well, people say it, but is it ever really true, you know? You doubt my love for you? No, absolutely not. That is the one thing I'm certain of. No. Mm -mm. Because I would throw myself overboard for you. Yeah, if I was drowning, but I don't... No, any... no, I'm not talking about if you're drowning. I'm talking about right here, right now. I would throw myself overboard for absolutely no reason to prove to you that I love you. How would that prove that you love me? You don't... don't believe me. Oh, Whoa, hey, no, okay. no, I know you, Ethan. You're a man of action, not words. I love words. I don't even know what that means. No, you want to show you how much I love you. Uh, so Monica, please, no. sit down, please. Ethan, please. you need your own epiphany, just like the one I had in the Children's Museum. What? No, 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 no. Really? Take to me your love! Uh, I wouldn't normally, but it's cold. I have a lifesaver. Hey, get! I've got dry clothes in the car and one of those. Okay. <clears throat> 
So. Yeah, sorry about that. She, uh, she gets a little emotional at times. Yeah, a little. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I still like her. I mean, she really loves you. I guess. You know, it must be nice. What? To have that kind of passion for someone. So I had a dream about Trisha last night. Yeah? What about? She came to my house in a shower curtain. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't know. But I woke up smiling. I'm in love with her. I am in love with her. Every molecule in my body right now is in love with her. She deserves the best. The best. And you think that's you? I mean, you think you're the best she can do? Wow. Wow. What? No. Oh. No, I'm sorry. I didn't... That's, a, that's an odd thing for a confidence coach to say. Yeah, yeah, it is. That was lousy. I'm, I'm sorry. But you're right. No, Mitchell, no, I'm not. She deserves better. No, she doesn't. No. I mean, she could probably get somebody real good. Hello? I'm a loser. Emily? What's the matter? It's been kind of obvious for the past couple months now. Obvious to me, not him. Just completely blindsided him. I mean, no one, no one had ever broken up with him before. And why would anyone ever break up with him? He's like this great guy. He's like, he's kind and, and generous. And he's handsome. He was perfect. Just, just not perfect for me. It's a whole new ball game. Why would she call me after breaking up with her boyfriend? It's a whole new ball game. I just met her a few weeks ago. Why call me? Well, she wanted to tell you. It's a whole new ball game. Oh, come on, man. The laundry basket is less than 10 feet away. Beast? You, you taught her how to do laundry? Apparently not. <laughs> so should I ask her out? Maybe just as friends? You have no choice. You have to ask her as friends. Right. Because it's too soon. I have to give her time. No, it's not that easy. You got a girlfriend. Yeah, <laughs> I have a girlfriend. So, how long do I have to wait before I can break up with her? Well, you wait too long and then we find someone else. Not waiting long enough will seem opportunistic. Right. So you gotta make sure you're still in Emily's life without making it seem like you're cheating on her honeycomb. Right. I'll go to the jazz club. She needs support. Brian always used to be the one who watched her sing. Now, it could be me. I'll just show up as a friend. That's a good strategy. Hey, was Lexi flirting with me the other day? Stay away from my sister. Why? A list that long would use up all my printer ink. Miss Atkins, hey. Well done, Ethan. You work faster than I thought you could. Ah, uh, you know what, Miss Atkins, I don't deserve this. She broke up with Brian without my help at all. <laughs> Nonsense. Whatever you did, it worked. It's part of our agreement. I, uh, I, I, I can't accept this. Sorry. Suit yourself. Did you mention Thomas? Thomas? The guy I want her to marry. No. No, that's okay. I'll take it from here. Now that Brian's gone, it should be easy. I'll wait, but not too long.
gotta be honest with you. I was never a big fan of jazz, but you're changing my mind. <laughs> so I converted you. <laughs> yeah, I'm seriously considering renouncing my devotion to polka. <laughs> <laughs> so why were you here? When? The night that we met. If you don't like jazz, then why were you in a jazz club by yourself? <laughs> I was outside walking on my way to the drugstore, and I heard you singing. I just uh, had to come in and figure out where that sound was coming from. Lo and behold, it was coming from there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know, I lip sync to my songs. No, you don't. You almost bought it. No, not even close. <laughs> so, me and Brian were supposed to go to the fair tomorrow, and that's obviously not happening. So, do you want to hang out? Sure. Where are we going? We'll see. Okay. Well, before we start, let's go in here. My condolences on the breakup. <laughs> oh, uh, wow, that's very sweet. Thank you. Um, but what am I supposed to do with this? What? I mean, we're going to be out all day. Don't you think it'll probably be dead before I get home? Well, I... Thought... At least get me a silk flower. No, I like those better anyway. Really? Why? Because you'll always have them. You know, like if you put in a vase and then you take a vacation, when you get back, they're still there. Charming as ever. <laughs> but real flowers are so perfect. Yeah, but in a month, you'll have nothing. Look, just uh, save your money and buy me a gas card. Or I could just buy you a fake flower. Silk flower. Silk. Excuse me. So, you really have never been here before? Nope, but I drive past it all the time. I've always wondered what kind of person shops for records. <laughs> well, now you know it's you. <laughs> Never would have guessed it. Did you know that Count Basie met his future wife, Catherine, three times before they even spoke to each other? If that didn't say Count Basie, then I wouldn't even know who it is. So I'm going to say no. <laughs> well, when they finally did get a chance to talk for a while, he ended the conversation with, one of these days, I'm going to make you my wife. And then, seven years later, he did. It's just kind of amazing how he always just knew what he wanted and never took his eyes off the prize. Seven years. So, why jazz? I don't know. I mean, but jazz is just this honesty that you don't get with other music. Or maybe except classical. But jazz doesn't shy away from the hard stuff. Makes you feel better about the sad stuff. So, do you have sad stuff? Of course. Doesn't everyone? I mean, lost loves, unfulfilled dreams, emptiness. So, why'd you move back here? My dad died. Work accident. Yeah, I heard about that. It's a small community. Yeah, we have relatives here, so we came back. I'm sorry about your dad, but I'm glad you're back. Yeah, yeah, me too. It feels like home. You know I had a crush on you when I was little? Yeah? <laughs> me? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just a teeny one, microscopic, really. I, uh, I remember you being in the school spelling bee. Mmm, right. Mm -hmm. Fifth grade. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep, and I was uh, rooting for you, but it seemed like the moderator was against you the whole time. <laughs> you got all the hard words. Did I? Yeah, yeah, it was ridiculous. And then you went up against Jeremy Munchak in the finals, and I so wanted you to beat Jeremy Munchak. It was tense because he got the word legislature, and you got the word picturesque. And then he got deceitful, but he missed it. And 
then you got the word auspicious and you spelled it right. I nearly stood up and screamed. Do you remember the words in the spelling bee? Uh, it's strange what you can recall, huh? <laughs> yeah, and that crush you had on me, how long did that last? Uh, started when I was about eight, and it lasted until I was, I don't know. 24? That's about the time frame. I'm just gonna grab my jacket. It'll be two seconds. Okay. Sorry about the mess. I've just been really busy. Haven't exactly had a chance to clean yet. No problem. It's kind of like its own art gallery. If this art was all made up of trash. So she's a slob. Her apartment looks like it's inhabited by six five-year-olds and a goat. <laughs> Thorn on the rose. It was all I could think about. Snag on the sweater vest. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Do you not get it? All my life I've dreamed of myself with this girl. So she's a little messy. You're a perfect match. You don't pay the electric bill, you'll never see the mess. You know, it's, it's just one thing. You know, I don't know why you didn't want to come to my apartment for movie night. Oh, no reason. <laughs> What movies did you pick? Movies. You're gonna love them though. My favorite. All five Twilight movies. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, excuse me? I'm sorry, can you just give me more ice? Thank you. I usually root for Cambodia in the Olympics because you know they have the cutest flag. It was so painful. Doesn't sound that bad. Aren't you listening? Yes. Did you hear the part about how she looks her ice cream cone from the top down, never from the side? Do you know how risky that is? Oh my word, you have got to stop with these lists. They're useless. They're a visual representation of my misery. Forget this, you've wanted this girl since the third grade. I didn't really know her. Sure you did. Not the details. Okay, but of all the things you believed about her in the third grade, how many of them turned out to be true? She's smart, talented, sweet. She can make friends with anyone. She's fun. She has a big heart. She has the greatest laugh ever. She's beautiful. Exactly. So, you need a new list. This is all that matters, Ethan. So you really like fast food, huh? Love it. If I could, I'd live off a of Taco Bell and Burger King. Wouldn't you? Come on. I might throw something in with some vitamins here and there. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yeah, it's been great. Yeah, it's been really nice having company, you know? Look, I like the leprechaun. What? <laughs> I don't know. A kid in third grade came up to me and, and said that, and I always thought it was funny. This isn't right. What? Why? Uh, you have a girlfriend. Exactly. It's wrong. And, and, and I can't do this, Veronica.
Hello? What? Okay, okay, I'll be right there. Hey, uh, a friend of mine needs help. Do you want to come? Uh, yeah, what, what does she need help with? I, I don't know, but she's fine. You're good at this. Come on, let's go. Okay, tell me what happened. He said something stupid about how he doesn't deserve me. What? That doesn't make any sense. Of course it doesn't make any sense. It's a lie. Obviously he found some other girl. Do you really think that? A boy like Mitchell doesn't stay on the market for very long. You know Mitchell. He's the best, right? You guys know each other? Yeah, Mitchell and I go back. Did you see this coming? I should have known it was too good to be true. His feelings for me it was a fantasy, fake. A love like that only exists in the stars. Have you dressed yourself for today? No. Do you even have any clean clothes? I don't really need any. I'm not going anywhere. Brian isn't worth going into a tailspin over. It's not Brian. No. It's not? No. Good. Then you're ready to move on. Sort of. You still going to Jenny's engagement party? I mean... It's at the art gallery, so. Good. I'll introduce you to some people. I don't know. Thomas is going to be there. I am not interested. Honey, it's time. You need to find someone new. For me. Ethan? This just came for you. Thanks. And this, this came for you. Yes, it did. Yes, it did. What a good boy. Hello. Hello. He's a good dog. What's the matter with you? I'm in love. Me too. Me too. With a person. I think I might actually have a chance with Emily. Cool. That's kind of a dream come true, isn't it? Yeah, I know. For the first time ever, I'm starting to doubt her. Well, of course you are. Because it's the first time it hasn't been just a fantasy. But if you're in love, what are you waiting for? You can't expect love to come fall in your lap. You gotta go get it. Look, I've gotta go. Velma's dragging me to her cousin's birthday party. She wants to show off her new face waxing. She barely knows the girl. By the way, she looks like a glazed donut. Okay. Uh, hey, Tully. How did you guys get together anyway? You have nothing in common and all you do is complain about her. I'm not complaining about her. The weird stuff is what makes Velma Velma. And yeah, she's got a lot of quirks, but that's all canceled out by the fact that she is the coolest woman I know. True love bleaches out the blemishes. That could be a Hallmark card. I'm gonna send that in. Sam, I need you to do something for me. Okay. There's a party at the art gallery tonight. Lexi did the flowers for it, and she told me that Emily is gonna be there. All right. I want you to go there and tell me how she looks, and, you know, her mood and stuff like that. That sounds like a weird assignment. I'm gonna talk to her tonight, Sam, and I just need to know if she's ready for it. Oh, you think she'll be ready? Don't do anything stupid. I'll be there in a bit. We need to talk.
Thomas. Hello, Mrs. Atkins. Emily. Nice to see you. I'm really sorry. I never meant to fall for her. It just. What kinda... was the problem? <sighs> was it because I didn't move fast enough? Because I didn't kiss you first? No, 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 not at all. Well, I'm never going to find anyone as good as you. Not true. There are plenty of good guys out there, and you, you've got qualities to attract them. Like what? Well, um, you're uh, persistent, and you're easy to hang out with, really pretty, of course. Some guy is going to want to eat that kiss right off your face. Um, just not this guy. Out. Okay. something in your teeth. Just use the mirror in my purse. Emily, I have to talk to you. I have to talk to you. Well, let me go first. What did she do? Excuse me. Uh, I just need your attention for a couple of moments. Um, I just want to congratulate the happy couple. Congratulations. You know, what a, what a perfect night. <gasps> Two people in love, deciding to be together forever. <coughs> Is there anyone here who would disagree that that's not the most perfect thing in all of life? You know what? I do know someone here who would disagree with that. Ethan Cooper can I just take a few moments to say a couple of things about Ethan. No, 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 wait, this, this pertains to you, I promise. I know everything there is to know about Ethan Cooper. I've been faithfully stalking him for six months now. And tonight it all becomes worth it. Because I can read you some excerpts from my journal. Okay. May 12th. Ethan was hired to break up Ginny Dotson from her boyfriend, Mike. May 31st, Ginny Dotson broke up with Mike today. He does this all the time. Who's Mike? This is what Ethan Cooper does for a living. He's a matchbreaker. Mothers and fathers hire Ethan to break up their children with boyfriends and girlfriends that they don't like. June 18th, Ethan was hired to break Mitchell Tilton up with his girlfriend, Trisha. See, he does this all the time. <sighs> Emily, that's, that's what he's doing with you, and he used me to help. And the worst part is I knew what he was doing the whole time. I knew that he was just using me to help break up Emily and Brian, but... I convinced myself that he cared about me. 
You know, not because I had any evidence of that. I just thought you were a better man. I've got more. Uh, August 18th. Ethan wore boxers with ducks on them. Okay, I'm done. I don't love you. Those are my boxers. Where I'm supposed to be When you're standing by my side Okay, you can do this. You've done apologies before. You just gotta go say hey. It's really easy. It's fine. Dang, Nabbit. I, uh, I just wanted to come by and say how sorry I am. I was an idiot and I know. Uh, chapter closed. Emily, I don't want to see you. I'm sorry. I can't believe you would do that. It was a mistake. I can live my own life. I know. I'm sorry. I don't want your apology. I didn't come here for your forgiveness. I'm hoping for that at some point, but I realize it's not going to happen right now. Then why are you here? I have to tell you something. He didn't take the money. Ethan, before you found out what he did for a living, he refused the check. He actually seems like a fine young man. For what it's worth, he didn't take the money. I need to talk to Mitchell. We're eating dinner right now. Yeah, well, it really can't wait. Sorry to interrupt your dinner, but I need to borrow Mitchell. What? I can't accept this. What do you mean? I'm closing my business. <laughs> Come with me. There's a girl that sings at the Green Lady Lounge, and she'll be there tonight. Her name is Emily Atkins, and you have to see her.
She's fantastic. You're missing out on a lot of money. I know. Have a nice dinner. Okay, so how did it happen? Ethan went into his house and dragged him out. To get you back together? Yeah. Mitchell's mom was so mad. Looking for a job? Yep. <laughs> but it appears that my skill set is a bit um, niche. Hmm, I bet. You know, a record producer came to the lounge last night. Really? Did you talk to him? He wants a demo. <laughs> That's great. I guess I have to make a demo. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's. It's fantastic. Yeah, yeah, it's... I'm really excited. You deserve it. Getting Trisha and Mitchell back together, that cost you, didn't it? The things you do for love. <laughs> yeah. Why are you sitting here? I'm a jerk, a schemer, a... Professional heartbreaker. An a... idiot. Yeah, that too. So, why would you sit down with me? Because love sees past the imperfections. Sam? You okay? Shh. Sam? I thought that 
was you running in. Why are you in such a hurry? I was just looking for some flowers. Well, it's really great that I ran into you because I want to invite you to my party. Oh. Oh, you know, I'm actually busy that night. Really? Doing what? I'm, uh, gonna on a date with my girlfriend. Your girlfriend's Lexi? Yeah. We're really serious. Incredibly serious. We've actually kissed on the lips like seven times already. We'll probably kiss again when we go on our date. Not at your party. <sighs> oh, okay. Um, sorry, I didn't realize. Don't worry about it. Yeah, um, thanks for the invite. Sure. See you later. Bye. Mm. So you want me to pretend I'm your girlfriend too? I don't know. I hear you're kind of expensive. Like 30%. Well, for the right guy, I might do it for free. Should we practice? I'd like that. <laughs> Kissy, kissy, kissy. Tully, what are you doing here? I was fixing your, um, your, uh... You're here for the dog. You missed me. Hey. hey! You look different. Oh, yeah, I got a new uh, doggy razor for Beast, but I tried it on myself first because his skin's so sensitive. Well, you look great. Thanks. What you doing here? I'm fixing your, uh... You're, uh, he's here for the dog. He missed me. Oh, okay. You know, you guys need each other. Why don't you just take him? Yeah? Yeah. Do you hear that, Beast? You're coming home with me. Velma is gonna love you. You guys kind of look the same, too. Oh, yeah, a box came for you. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. yeah. I could probably use that. Why? Because of your annoying habit of being so adorable. Yeah. I'm reading this first. <laughs> Lexi. I have an idea. How about we go to the park, reading my book aloud, while simultaneously listening to your CD? Hmm. Can it immediately be followed by watching a Twilight movie of your choice? Hmm, that's far too much excellence in one <laughs> night. I think you're right. Let's go straight for the movie. It's time to top off the night with some Team Jacob. Edward. Team Edward. Tell me about your dog. For starters, she's socially awkward. At one time, she was very interested in um, manicuring. She's really fashionable, and he never matches his belt with his shoes. You give her a science book, and she's a whiz. Human chemistry. So how did she get a boyfriend? We have no idea. How did they meet? She picked him up on the side of the road. Hitchhiking. She was on her skateboard, and that's where she met this... Um, Fellow. Kind of a I, turd in a punch bowl kind of thing. I hate to confess, but I actually tried to pay the guy off and get him to leave. How much did you offer him, honey? Not enough. He recently got her into anime, and that is not okay. I don't even think that they talk at all together. When he came over... They were texting across the table. He's a little bit of a bum. I mean, she's a great girl. She deserves a great guy. He wants to breed ants. I'm not very fond of his skateboard. Who breeds ants? Long term is what I'm worried about. I mean, how are they going to provide for... My grandchildren. We need you. We really we need, need your help. help. We love our daughter. She's awkward, but we love her. They've got to be broken up. When could you start? 